Hi everyone. So let's talk about changing needles because you do need to change your needles every so often. And the, the rule of thumb is at the beginning of every new project or after every eight hours of sewing, whichever comes sooner. Why you need to change your needles? I've heard horror stories of people keeping the same needle in forever and ever and ever, and that really won't help your sewing. So needles become blunt over time, so they can end up shredding and damaging your fabric, and you really don't want that. Um, they're a sharp implement, so of course, if you're gonna use them, they will become blunt. They can become bent, and you won't be able to see that with a naked eye, but they can become slightly bent at the tip. And if your machine is making funny clunky noises, it probably means that your needle has slightly bent out of shape and it needs changing. Um, also, you need to change your needles depending on what you are sewing. Um, if you see my other video uh, talking about needle sizes, you'll know that you need to change your needle depending on the fabric that you're sewing or the project that you're sewing. So we need to use different sizes of needles and different types of needles depending on the fabric or the, the, the project that we've got under our machine. So, um, and also needles break as well. Not very often, hopefully, but they do break and then we'll need to change them. So how do you go about that? So let me switch camera um, and get onto my machine. There we go. So we're live and as it happens recording. So first of all, before you change your needle, um, you really want to make sure that you've got a piece of fabric or a piece of paper covering the feed dogs in your base plate. Um, if you drop a needle into here, it can be a bit of a pain, particularly if your needle has um, broken and you've only got a little bit, you really want to be protecting that base plate. So let's put a piece of fabric underneath there, first of all. Secondly, let's just move this thread out of the way. Secondly, it's, um, it can become a lot easier for you if you just take the, the presser foot off. So I'm going to do that, take the presser foot, off, presser foot off and put that to one side. So first things first, I'm going to hold this needle in my left hand because I don't really want it dropping through. So I'm going to take that needle and um, have a firm grasp of it. Then to the right up here, you'll see this is the, the section that holds that needle in. So there's a little screw head here. Um, you can use your fingers to loosen this or you can use the little screwdriver that comes with your machine. Either is fine. There is a little groove on the end of the screw head uh, that you can use, but I'm gonna use my, my fingers here. So if I'm gonna loosen this, I'm gonna turn that screw just towards me, just a little bit, and you'll feel that the needle starts to loosen. Can you see here? So I'm gonna drop that out. Now, where it's coming out of, there's a little tiny hole underneath here, which is where the needle fits into. So that's where it comes out, and that's where it's gonna go in. But let's have a quick look at this needle. Um, so I'm gonna put this one back in, but obviously you'd replace it with a, a new one. So if we look at all our needles and look at the needle that you've got, you'll find that it's um, concave on one side, normally with the color coding. And then if you turn it round, can you see it goes flat on the back? Can you see there that it's, it's flat on the back of that needle? And this is important for us to know. So where we've got the flat bit, that is going to go to the back of our machine when we put it in. So I'm gonna put this round with a flat to the back. So pretend this is a new needle. Let's get that all lined up. And I'm gonna offer it up to that hole. I'm just gonna bend down because otherwise I can't see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna offer, offer it up into that hole and I'm going to hold it with my finger and thumb up as far as I can. You'll feel that it comes to a stop and that's where you want to hold it. What you're not gonna do is put your finger underneath the needle and hold it underneath because it is sharp implement, obviously, so we don't wanna be doing that, but we do want to hold it with our finger and thumb. When you've got it up as far as you can, then we can tighten up that little nut or the little screw head uh, to the end and turn that to the back and get that nice and finger tight. You want it as tight as you can get it with your fingers because if it's too loose, it will come out mid-sew. Um, when you're sewing, there's a lot, a lot of vibration with, with the needle. Obviously, the needle's going up and down as well. There's vibration in the machine, and that can work it loose if it's not um, tight enough up at the, the top here. So you want to get that as tight as you can. If you want to get a bit of extra safety measure, use that little screwdriver that comes with your machine and just tighten it up. So there we go. We've got a needle back in again. And then all you need to do is put your presser foot back on, and you are good 
to go. So hope that has been helpful and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.